Good morning. Well, it's morning for me. Um, yes, I'm aware I'm not wearing a hat and my hair is greasy, but I don't care. Um, but you'll have seen in the other video, we moved house. So we've been in this house now for over a month and we took five days to do a bedroom because the guy had textured wallpaper that he'd painted over and it took forever to get it off. And then we did the living room and then we've been waiting to do other rooms. But we are currently in what will be deemed as the billiards room which will be my replacement cave and it is very bare and empty just now because the ceiling, the plasterboard's actually bowing like this we, looking at it, you can't really see that they've screwed in many screws but what we're doing is, my mate Andy's a sparky, he's got a few friends in the trade we've got somebody coming around, they're going to re-plasterboard the ceiling stick some insulation up and run new lights for me because these things are full. They are utterly disgusting. Anyway, this room is bare and empty. I will try and get some video clips whilst Andy and his mates are doing some work. I've not done much talking and I've also done very little beanie wearing because we'll be getting very dirty and dusty and so myself a firework. Very dirty and dusty doing all the renovations in the house. We've taken a lot of photos and little cutscene clips of the renovation of what is going to be deemed as the billiards room. Why a billiards room? Because I'm not posh. It's mainly because I don't want to call it a man cave and I don't want to call it a games room. So. Billiard room makes it sound slightly posh, and we've named the house The Manor. Anna says I'm a posh. Anyway, what I'm doing is because that's at the other end of the house from where the wireless is, I'm expecting to have some terrible signal. So last night at about half ten, so we didn't film anything, we pushed through a Cat 8 Ethernet cable through a small gap in the wall and a TV aerial and then ran it all the way along. So what I've done today is I've drilled a hole in the floor in the living room to be able to poke the cables back up, connect it into the router. See, this is why you wear the protection. Because you've seen the hatch, you've seen the small hole. That's what I, all 90 kilograms of me, had to climb through, lie on my back on some bricks and feed some cables. But the cables are now up, thank you to Anna for pulling them up from the other side. You can plug them in. Now, next steps, decorating. We've made some progress in the billiards room when we've made the ceiling black. We're currently painting a bit of grey onto the walls. And I've mounted six battens across here. The reason for this is yes, that is a solid wall, but I've got a way that I'm going to make this into a feature wall. And I need battens to support it because a TV will be up there, some guitars will be up there and the featurey part of the feature wall will be up there as well. Hopefully this is all working. Still got tidying up to do and laminate to lay, the rest of the room to paint, um, that whole wall to do. Still got a lot to do. I'm not really sure how I'm going to edit this video, if I'm going to edit a video, but I've done some talky bits and I've taken lots of pictures and lots of random crap videos. Today we're on to the next step in the billiard room and it's laying laminate flooring. I did two rows last night when I got back from the Isle of Man just because I wanted to do something worthwhile. Now it's time to get the rest of the floor done. 
I've been back from London where I was working for two weeks, including the weekend, which meant all the stuff in the billiards room ground to an absolute halt. Got back Wednesday, got a few other bits and bobs done in the house in the evenings when I was in the office. And then yesterday I started my feature wall. I finished the feature wall. I just hit you guys off a cabinet thing, that's why I tilted. But I the guitar's on the wall. I really, really should learn to play guitar, shouldn't I? Okay, I can play a little bit. Used to play more when I was younger, but I want to pick it back up and it's one of those I'm out of sight, out of mind, hence why I've not gone out and taken any landscape photos because all my camera gear is upstairs in a box somewhere. So I'm filming with you guys. But if these are here, the pool table's gonna be in here. I'm gonna spend time and I'm gonna want to play because as well as that, if somebody comes round, they're gonna be like, oh, you play guitar? And if I go, no, it'd just be a bit strange. No, no, I don't. What makes you think I play guitar? I am aware I look like I've just climbed out of a sewer, but it's because I was working from home doing a health and safety course and I couldn't be bothered having a shower and this was delivered today. So the room is almost done, almost. I've got my old neighbour Andy, who's my neighbourhood friendly Sparky, coming to put in my final sockets over there and there. Down there there's going to be two sockets and an HDMI port so that when this has the tabletops on it I can sit on here and edit one of these videos, run an HDMI cable down and I'll be able to put it on the 43 inch TV that is going up on that wall. So the room's almost done. Almost. But it's gorgeous. The room is finally done, almost. There's little bits like sealant around the flooring edge, a few wee touch up bits of paint. Two more down lighter covers because Andy the Sparky ordered eight instead of 10, but that's fine, they'll turn up. Surround sound just needs to go in at the back as well. Uh, Graham Simpson, a good friend of mine, has 3D printed brackets for me. So they're on their way through Royal Mail, so they will probably be here by July. Anyway, this is Christmas time. I've been told after this room is done, I'm not allowed to do anything in the house until Christmas break is over because I've been working non-stop at work and then working non-stop on doing this room and doing bits in the house. So I'm to take a rest, which means hopefully I'll edit this video and you guys shall see it in September. But the pool table's in, it plays great, the guitars are up, I play crap, I play crap at pool too, TV's up. Xbox, PlayStation, the old ones, unless Microsoft or Sony want to gift me a PS5 and an Xbox Series X because I'm obviously such a big YouTuber. Anyway, I'm going to try and remember how to work you guys, there, the Ronin SC, and hopefully we shall bring in some really nice music now and have some very Grand Designs-esque video footage no I hope that you've enjoyed that segment of video. I have no idea how it looks just now, even though this is like two weeks after I filmed that bit, I've not bothered to put anything from that onto the laptop because I couldn't be arsed. No lies. So you've seen what the room looked like, you've seen what it looks like now, but as you'll have all seen, we've got windows. I love these windows because we get to see wildlife like this.
as you can see, we get some nice wildlife out the window. Had two foxes today that I didn't bother filming because I was eating cake. Because it's my birthday and I like cake. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, I've not uploaded jack shit for quite a while and I targeted 48 videos last year and I did three. So I'm not going to target anything. I will try and release content when I can. It's my channel, it can be whatever I want. It can be photography, it can be travel, once we can travel, it might be motorbikes, it could just be more mental health crap, it could be more home renovations. Drop me a comment below to tell me what sort of videos you like seeing and just praise me for me being me because I have an inferiority complex so to be honest I'm being quite sarcastic and I wouldn't praise me for being me, I'd probably just click dislike and piss off. On that note, if you've liked it, click like. If you've disliked it, you've probably not made it this far. But if you have, thank you, but you can now click dislike and piss off. If you want to watch more crap, click subscribe. If you don't want to watch any crap, click subscribe because I don't upload often enough. To be honest, this channel, no idea where it's going. You want recommendations, tutorials, go to Thomas Heaton and Mads Peter Iverson. You want sort of daily vlogging, you've got Cody Warner and BVS videos, you've got Greg Snell, you've got... Leela from YouTube and Peter McKinnon for video tutorials on how to edit stuff. You want fresh face stuff, you've got Jay Gilmore, Mikey McManus, Darren J. Spoonley, watch those guys. If you want egotistical arse wanks, then watch. But really overall, thank you for watching this video. Drop me a comment below. I do reply to them because it's a bit of chit chat and that had I'm quite antisocial in person, so I'm a bit more sociable digitally. But I'm going to go and order some dinner and then try and edit this and get it out for September 2024. Thank you for watching, and a bit.